Hey, it's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Luminar AI, specifically its ability to change eye color in an image. Now, this is a really interesting tool because it can be used to just enhance the color that's already there, or you can change it to a completely different color. You can give someone with brown eyes blue eyes and vice versa. You can even go to some unusual effects with it and push it to the extreme. So I'm going to show you what all it does and uh, how easy it is to do it. By the way, I'm also going to give you a discount code in case you really fall in love with Luminar and want a copy for yourself. I'm going to tell you how you can get it at a discounted price. If you haven't done so already, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. It really does help and I definitely want you coming back for more videos. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Slightly different, but we will jump in here and uh, it's going to show you these templates with some suggestions. But we're jumping right to edit, going into the portrait section right here, and going to face because we're going to really focus in on this eye changing ability, which is pretty incredible. Um, basically, the way it's going to work is one, you can keep the original eyes here and do all this different enhancement to them or you can go ahead and change them. Uh, there's obviously tons of creative uses uh, for this. Probably wouldn't use it on a, a business headshot, for example. However, um, if you were putting together a, a compositor of art piece or something where the person's clothing would look better with them having a different color eyes or the scene would look better, uh, it's a very easy way to do it here. And it's pretty interesting. So you've got all your different options here. She's got these brown eyes. Um, and so we can look at any of these other ones. Let's start with green. And we'll just click green, and there it goes. Pretty quickly switches to those green eyes, which is uh, looks pretty good. I mean, they're very vibrant. Um, we could drop down to maybe a hazel, which would be a, a little more subtle, or um, a gray. Let's just go, you know what, let's go with blue eyes. Just like that. Okay. So then what you're going to do here is play with these different sliders. And so let's take iris visibility, which is at 80, and bring that down a little bit. And you can see that's going to take it from these glowing blue eyes down to where you can barely tell their blue eyes. And so I think you want to be able to tell they're blue, at least for the purpose of what we're doing. But um, it doesn't need to be that. That's pretty good, about like that. So we'll go about 42. So we can see that they're blue. Iris Flare, slide this over, you can see what it's doing. As you can see, if you watch right down in here, that's up at 84, it's that light area starts to get lighter or darker depending on how you slide this. So we'll put a little bit in there. Enlarge Eyes, she definitely does not need her eyes enlarged. I think they look great, but that's how it would look if you wanted to go cartoonish. However, I could see how you could use this in something, maybe someone was squinting a little bit or smiling too big, and you just wanted to add a little bit. Um, I think that would certainly work. Eye whitening, lightening the whites here. I think these are plenty white already, so we're not going to mess with that. Eye enhancer. Slide that over and see what that does. It's kind of adding some sharpening and contrast through here. So um, the thing you've got to be careful with on that is you slide it all over and it's like, wow, those look great. But then you start looking at the image overall and the eyes don't really fit with the image anymore. So you always have to go moderation on these things. Red eye removal. Tons of uses for that, obviously, not an issue here. We can try dark circles. She doesn't really have dark circles, but we'll slide it over just to see what it does. It does kind of lighten the area under there. We'll leave it at about 70%. Leave a little bit there. Let's look at the before and the after. So it's lightening that area just a touch, which is fine. Improve eyebrows, not really an issue here, but we'll do it just for fun because it's free. Okay, looking here at the mouth. You've got the ability to add redness which is changing the color of that lipstick, which can be dicey. So I don't like adding redness. I prefer to go with the saturation and just kind of improve the color that she's already got. And then you can play with the darkening if you want to make them darker or lighter. Teeth whitening, self-explanatory, but doesn't really work for what we're doing here. So that's kind of looking at the eyes right there. Let's do, um, do our little split screen here. There's the brown versus the blue. But um, I think that's still pretty realistic looking. It's tough because we're watching it 
change right in front of our eyes. But I think if you saw this image just like this, I think those are pretty realistic looking eyes. And um, you've even got some crazy ones here. You've got um, owl, you've got cat, which kind of gives you this crazy cat look. Again, it's gonna have to be a very specific situation where you would use this, but I can see certainly in some sort of an art piece or a composite where um, it could be really handy to be able to make these eyes like this and, and just do it with the click of a button. So uh, once you're happy with how you want it, you just click up here and you can go through and do any of the other different items. You can even save that template down here at the bottom um, if you wanted to have a way of always changing the cat's eyes and things like that. But you can see it's a pretty powerful thing and it works pretty quickly. In fact, if we were to go back here and just totally reset her, back to where she was, just like that. Uh, you could come into this software and just in a matter of seconds go to portrait, face, eyes, change to green, and pretty much you're done. You'd have to probably pull this down, tweak this, but in say about 10-15 seconds you can go through and you've changed her to green eyes just like that. So it's incredibly fast how it goes right to the eyes, selects them for you, changes that color, and then gives you all this ability to go in and tweak it as you like. So it's an incredibly uh, powerful tool, and I think it has a lot of great applications, even if you're just using it to enhance their original eyes. You know, we can leave the original here and just say, I want to keep her brown, but I want to uh, play with some of these sliders, maybe bring out some of that. You could really bring out uh, brown eyes with this as well which sometimes they can get lost in the shadows if you didn't do a, a good job of getting light in there but by going through and tweaking some of these just look at the before and after on that those definitely are uh, noticeably brighter but still very realistic looking and again things you could do in Photoshop that don't take a ton of time but here it's so fast that I, I think it's just an incredible tool whether you're just wanting to spice up the original or go with a totally crazy um, owl eyes or something like that. I think the, the possibilities are endless. And there you have it. Really is quick and easy to use. It goes in, finds those eyes, changes the color, and then you can decide how realistic or unrealistic it is. Would love to hear your comments on how useful you think this feature is or any other of the Luminar features that you'd like me to highlight in future videos. Again, if this helped, hope you'll take a second to like, subscribe to the video, and make sure you click the little bell so that you get notifications when new videos come out because we've got tons of great content coming out and I don't want you to miss it. So, I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.